Sadly, it is game over in Worcester. The city's last candlepin bowling alley is closing. A victim, the owner says, of the coronavirus outbreak. The Colonial Bowling Center says it can't afford to stay open. Candlepin bowling was actually invented in Worcester, and of course, it was wildly popular. Nick Emmons is in the city tonight, where despite some disappointment, the owner says it's been a great run. Candlepin bowling is a sport that was invented in Worcester around 1880, but now the last candlepin bowling alley in the city is closing for good. I never thought this is how it would end up. For the past 30 years, Paul Wambach has walked the lanes at Colonial Bowling Center. I woke up every day and I knew where I had to go. Not much has changed at the alley since it opened in 1960. But coronavirus sent business into the gutter. It started with the virus, obviously. Wambach says the owner, who's in his 90s, doesn't have the same energy to run the business anymore. And the statewide shutdown back in March helped him decide it was time. Now the future of this building, with so many memories, is uncertain. If somebody doesn't buy it and uh, keep it as a bowling alley, yeah, it's the end of an era. The sport was invented in Worcester about 140 years ago. At its peak, Wambach says there were more than 25 alleys in the city. <laughs> Colonial Bowling Center was the last. Everybody's become like it's a family almost, you know, so it's, it's, it's upsetting to a lot of people. There are now only a handful of candlepin bowling alleys left in this area. The next closest is in Spencer. In Worcester, I'm Nick Emmett's WBZ News. Mm. A lot of people going to miss that. Love candlepin bowling. There's actually one still uh, near my house, and uh, it's always a great time. Yeah, for people of all ages. Yeah. All right.